Hello and welcome back to another edition of the It's Dark Inside Devlogs. I'm here accompanied by my girlfriend Asher Wallström. Hi. And we are celebrating our third anniversary today. <laughs> so what better way to celebrate that than to check out the new things we have added to the game It's Dark Inside. Uh, we're going to check out some new enemy updates, some new development stuff that we had added to the game some new cool concept art and UI and take a look at our little Twitch stream we have been cooking up. So um, I hope you like what you see in today's edition. Uh, remember to check out our social medias in the description, follow there to gain update and let's start the video. Connie has created this cool little Twitch uh, setup that we have here that you can See around who we have a red border here and some trailer up there our follower goal and most recent follower because we have been streaming on twitch uh, for a while streaming the game's development live there so check out twitch.tv slash inside emil it's somewhere here connor can add it twitch.tv slash inside emil we stream tuesday and thursday so follow the game's development live there we'll see you there we we'll see you there Another thing that we added is like this whole intro sequence here. Ooh. That's like we I was weird inspiration, but when you like play Mario Kart and it's like a camera zooming around showing off the track, we wanted to have something similar. So right now uh, I can show it again. We have like three different camera setup in the arena that will show you how the game looks like from different perspectives. I think it's nice to get also a more detailed look on each like set piece. Yeah, exactly, because the game is seen from a top-down perspective, so we just wanted to have another perspective from it. And there is also this like intro dialogue that you can have. In the arena, you will meet the king there that will talk to you and like uh, have conversations with you so every arena and like will have a different dialogue and that can be with different characters that inhabit different spaces so in this space it's the king he says that you your child gets buried deep in, within flesh so he is like not the most pleasant guy so and then it cuts to this intro camera that you can uh, see your like the main character kneeling over holding her baby and that's like the start of every arena will be this then you press the start and then you will actually like start the arena so we have added this whole intro cinematic since last time so the arena is where you will fight uh, your first battles and we have started to decorate it showing off uh, the people that are lurks inside of it. Yeah, watching you fight. So they, it's like a coliseum almost. Yeah, exactly. So this is how it looks right now. It isn't finished, but we are slowly and steadily uh, making it look better and better. For like the actual arena combat, uh, we have done some visual effect tweaking. We have done, we have made it so the camera automatically follows along enemies when they are taking their actions. We have also added the turn action system. They have temporary icons right now, but it shows like which enemy is doing what in the specific turn order. So for example, you can see that this enemy is the first enemy that will strike. This enemy is the second, this enemy is the third, so on. You can also zoom out and in with your camera now, to so I can see the whole battlefield. Yeah, it's good if you need to strategize. Exactly. Uh, so this mode will also show the next turn action an enemy will do. So if you see here, you can see that this enemy will attack the next time, uh, the next turn. And you can also see that this enemy will move the next turn. So a player is always supposed to know what will happen next. So they can always strategize and be tactical about it. So if I move now, I know what enemies will, what certain enemies will do, and like account for that. We have also added some blood effects, so when an oh. enemy gets killed, like they spew blood, and I can show it here as well. 
like they spew blood and they and then there goes like blood across the arena it's probably a little bit too much right now i just like tried this out early today but we wanted to have something that like feels good so when you kill something like the blood gets spilled across the arena and we want like different enemies to have different types of blood and stuff like that so we have continued also working with the main menu part of the game so here on the left side you will see all your different levels that you can choose between and all these different levels will also have their own unique score so you can see your best score that you have gained through a level so the purpose is that you can maybe come back to a level uh, after you have gained more like experience with the game and also leveled up your character so that you can gain a better score you will also have a high score uh, here to the right where you can like compete with your friends and other players uh, that have, are playing the game and we will have a, a score system where there are three teeth here they will be empty from the beginning so like think about like stars from any mobile game like candy Crush, that you can gain like three different stars on a level depending on what score you, you will gain uh, it's the same thing here but instead of like gaining sc stars you will like fill these cavities with teeth so if you gain the best amount of score you will gain like three teeth that comes like drilling down uh, into the flesh it's a and very it visual horror yeah exactly and if you gain like the second best score you will gain like two teeth and you will use these to unlock things uh, in the game um, so this meter will show you what kind of amount of score you will need so if you gain the most amount of score to, uh, you will like unlock it all like unlock all three available teeth for you to use further down in the game and we will also have like these hands here so there are going to be hands like uh, that are like grabbing the play button and when you actually hover and you press it there is going to be like you can see a monster that is like grabbing the play button that like pushes it down so we wanted to have some instead of like a, just a regular like just press the button we wanted to have like the game like horror Im imagery with the whistles the main menu of the game that where a monster will like, automatically grab uh, the play button so we wanted to have like everything like the UI to be like because the game is like really body horror slash uh, like gruesome so we wanted to have like the main like UI element reflect that as well so they don't like it just on their own so we have continued working on this uh, and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out I think it really suits the game for last week video we saw this enemy which is like the shark we call it the shark boy and uh, we call all enemies that because they haven't to have a lore name so internally called shark boy so we have begun actually 3d modeling it and have actually completed it for this week's devlog so this is how it actually looks uh, in game we haven't done our visual effects pass uh, yet we got there is something that we want to do like make it actually look like slimy and like there's actually like slime and gore and blood and stuff like rolling off it we haven't done that yet but like the actual animations and models uh, are done i um, think the model is really cute yeah. from, the, from the back it kind of looks like oogie boogie <laughs> from <laughs> nightmare before christmas yeah with the eyes yeah in the, in the best kind of way the enemy in game are like spawned by another enemy so they are meant to be like a lot of them at the same time in the arena so they are fast and they move uh, they move twice a turn instead of just one like regular enemies so you always need to kind of like keep them under control and so you also want to like kill the things they where they are spawning from uh, which is another enemy but you can also need to kill them while doing that so you need to kind of trade off so it's meant to be a kind of like a surg type enemy where there's they are not very powerful but they will come in a lot of impact so you always need to kind of watch out because uh, if you don't uh, you will get over encumbered pretty quickly yeah i think it's kind of similar to an angler fish as well yeah exactly so it's meant to be kind of an angler fish yeah, it's very nautical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's in the the nautical 
area. <laughs> no, yeah, not naughty, but nautical. Yeah. Uh, the water area in the game. And we have started working on the latest enemy, which is going to be like the frog, the frog boy. Uh, is that the one that spawns out these fellas? Yeah, exactly. That's the one that spawns out these enemies. So we are going to use, so they, it's like spews out these enemies from its mouth. Um, so that's the one we're actually going to, uh, we are starting on 3D modeling. It's probably going to be finished for the next devlog as well. So Ooh, that's nice. I look forward to yeah, it. Yeah, that's one, that's actually one of my favorite designs as, uh, as well. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah, I like this little fella as well. Yeah, <laughs> he's, a, he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a very good boy. So that was everything for this week's devlog. But uh, if you want to, please remember to follow our Twitch channel and social media and hit hit that subscribe button or else uh, Signe will eat you up. Yes. And she's really hungry, so... Yeah, uh, especially, so look out. Yeah, expect Sus Subscribe, my guys. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we will see you at next week's devlog and have a really great week, everyone. And we will see you then. Bye. 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 Say bye, Signe. <laughs>